So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I mix my Afrobeat vocals, the plugins I use and how I use them. So without wasting time, let's dive into it. So before we start, this is what the vocal sounds like without any effect. I don't know why I'm hard I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I did. The first thing we have here is a noise suppressor or noise reduction plugin. So the plugin I used for this is the RX Voice the Noise. So depending on the place you are recording, you might need this noise suppression plugin because sometimes your mic will be picking up, you know, your computer noise or your fan noise or your AC noise. The next thing I have here is an auto tune. So the reason why I use an auto tune is because I need it. So when you sound like a wet dog, you're going to be needing auto tune. But if you sound like Michael Jackson, then you don't need an auto tune. So I have the return speed at 6 and then I have the humanize at 17. I don't know why I'm hard I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, I don't know why I'm hard I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I did. So the next thing I have here is a compressor. So I used two compressors for these vocals. So in the first compressor, I used a very high threshold, a very high ratio, a very fast attack and a very fast release. The first compressor is not doing much compression. The purpose of the first compressor is to catch some of the peaks and the transients in the vocal. The plugin that I'm using for the first compression is the Far Filter Pro C2 compressor plugin. In the second compressor, I have a high threshold, a medium ratio, a fast attack and then a slow release. With the second compressor, I'm not just catching the peaks, I'm doing the compression proper. So I'm using the SSL native compressor for this. I don't know why I'm hard I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, I don't know why I hurt you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I did. The next thing we have here is a fruity parametric EQ2. Here I remove some of the low ends that we don't need and then I remove some of the boxy frequencies and some of the harsh frequencies. So when it comes to equalization, you cut and boost frequencies according to what the vocal needs or what the instrument needs, not according to what you see online or what you see another producer do. I don't know why I'm hard you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out. I don't know why I hurt you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I did. The next thing I have here is a DSA, so I use the Far Filter Pro DS for this. The DSA is used to reduce harsh sibilant sounds that are caused when you make the S and the shush sounds. So I honed into the place where the S is very prominent and then I used a very high threshold and then also a very high range. I don't know why I hurt you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, I don't know why I hurt you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why. So the next thing here is a distortion plugin. So I like to distort my vocals a little bit. So I used the decapitator from Sound Toys and then I added a little bit of distortion to the vocal. The next thing here is a saturation plugin. So I added a little bit of saturation to the vocal. So the plugin I used is a plugin called Barrier by Kit Plugins. Then I used a plugin called TDL for Slick EQ to boost the highs around 10k and the mid around 5k to add some presence to the vocal. Then I also used a plugin called Fresh Air to add some air to the mids about 2% and then to the highs about 3%. I don't know why I hurt you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I left you. I've been trying to figure it out, don't know why I did. 
After that, I routed the vocal into three different channels. In the first channel, I added a delay plugin, so I used the far filter timeless for this. And then I added an EQ under it. In the second channel, I added a plate reverb and then also an EQ. And then I have the mix all the way at 100. So every plugin that I added to these channels, I have the mix at 100. Now this is because we want only the delayed and the reverb signal. And then we use the volume fader as the mix knob. Then on the third channel, I use the Valhalla Vintage Fab for this. So when it comes to the reverb and the delay settings, I used a reverb and a delay calculator for this. So all you have to do is impute your BPM to the website and it will tell you exactly the amount of delay and reverb you have to add to the track or the vocal. So after that, this is what it sounds like all together. So I hope you got value from this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Also check out more videos we have on how to mix your guitar melodies in FL Studio and how to mix your drums in FL Studio, the link will be in the description.